Over 200 vulnerable women in the Bungo district of the Upper East region are living in extreme poverty, often blamed for family misfortunes, including the death of a spouse, without hope for support. Older women often face negative stereotypes due to their traditional beliefs and primitive cultural practices, leading to their isolation. 80-year-old Mabila Nyaba is one of such victims. She lives in this dilapidated mud structure without electricity several kilometers from other settlements. She was accused of killing her husband. I'm always at the mercy of the weather. Sometimes I'm forced to sleep at any place I feel is convenient and safe. This has led her to rely on benevolence of sympathizers. People are scared to help me because they think I'll bewitch them. This breaks my heart because I'm not a witch and I can't even hurt a fly. I wish someone could come to my aid. 90 year old Aumpreba Atia is also a victim. She shares this single room with three others. At her age, she is denied any privacy or comfort. According to her, she has been abandoned by most of her family members. My husband family accused me of killing my son. Now I am forced to depend on the benevolence of people. Her grandson, Abu Gri Evans, who had initially migrated to seek greener pastures, has returned home to take care of her. Despite my hard work, I don't earn enough to give her a comfortable life. The over 90 year old is appealing for support. Aside them is Atungu Bay Nso, who is in her 80s. After the death of her husband decades ago, she is forced to sleep anywhere she feels safe and comfortable. Anytime I approach people for help, they drive me away because they see me as a witch who is going to harm them. Despite a frail condition, she picks and gathers stones to survive. I wish government and stakeholders could put measures in place to support the aged. Amnesty International reports that over 13,000 Guinean women are accused of witchcraft annually, primarily by pastors and families. On Mother's Day, it's important to extend compassion and offer hope to these forgotten women transforming their despair into solace and hope. Collective efforts can lead to brighter tomorrow.